That's another sale for Jimmy. Ka-ching! What's up, Sparkle Squad? We're doing this yard sale challenge on Roblox to see what old possessions we can sell for cash. Yeah, check this out. We just sold our old scooter. <laughs> Is that all? I hate to brag, but I just managed to sell my private helicopter. Are you guys really playing yard sale on that game? Yeah. We're trying to sell some stuff to get some extra Robux, but Jimmy is, of course, not playing by the rules. Have you ever thought of having a yard sale in real life? Then you could raise some money for some charities. Nah, nice try, Coach Rocco, but I see through your little ruse. You're just trying to get us to clean our rooms and sell all our best stuff. Not gonna happen. <laughs> hey, what's the matter, Jimmy? Scared nobody's gonna wanna buy stuff from your stinky bedroom? <laughs> <laughs> For your information, I have loads of stuff that people would line up around the block to buy. Way more than you. That's it. We're doing a yard sale challenge. All right, boys and girls, if you want to see who wins and raises the most money for charity, give me a big thumbs up. <laughs> I still wear this and this. I love that. But, oh, ooh, I don't know why I ever bought this. Yard sale it goes. Hey, Ellie, got all my stuff ready. But, you know, I'm really having trouble deciding what I don't need anymore. Yeah, who'd have thought that it would be so hard getting rid of stuff that you have? What do you have? Well, found my very first pair of pool floaties. <laughs> Gosh, I haven't worn these things in years. And they're still in pretty good condition, I'd say. Yeah, huh? perfect for a young swimmer. Well, that's true, but... Oh, me and my floaties have had such great memories together. Uh, what if I need them someday, right? Like I go swimming, you never know. And hey, check this out. Ha, they still fit. <laughs> oh, Ellie, I can't get rid of these. Okay, but what about this? Oh, my Halloween costume from four years ago. Oh, I can't get rid of that. I mean, sure, I've only worn it one time, but... Isn't it nice to just know you have a clown wig handy? Like, hey, what if you need it someday? Then you can just borrow it. Easy peasy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if a clown wig will come in handy anytime soon. Yard sale pilot goes. Okay, but look, here's what I'm having trouble with. My hot pink raincoat. You see, it's a little bit uncomfortable, and when I put it on, I kind of feel like a robot, so I don't really know what to do with it. Hey, that thing looks kind of vintage. I bet that could go for a lot of money. Here, let me check. Hang on. Hot pink full length right. Oh, Ellie, check it out. 50 bucks just for that jacket. Oh, you gotta sell that thing. Easy decision. So long, pink raincoat. Bye-bye. <laughs> hey, Coach Rocco. Tell Jimbo out there that we're selling something for 50 bucks. <laughs> oh, uh, and a clown wig. That's the <laughs> Oh, nope. Can't sell these. Oh, what about this? Oh no, this is so cool. I definitely can't sell this either. Oh, Casey and Ellie, always coming up with these overcomplicated ideas to make my life so difficult. Hey, Jimmy, how's your uh, yard sale collecting coming along? Awful, I can't find a single thing to sell. It turns out that just about every possession I have is completely irreplaceable. Oh, really? Well, what about this racket? I've never seen you play tennis, not even once. Oh, well, who says a tennis racket just has to be used for tennis? I use it as a plate for my snacks. Like so. Ta-da! Sometimes I even try to catch them in my mouth. <laughs> well, what about this cardboard? You never need this. Are you crazy? That's Jimmy too. Do you have any idea how many jams this thing has gotten me out of? Don't worry, Jimmy too. You're not going anywhere. I'll protect you from Coach Rocco. Oh, well, just so you know, Casey and Ellie have found a coat that's worth $50. So if you want to win this challenge, you better start finding stuff to sell quick. Oh, $50 for a silly old jacket? That's insane. Can you imagine how much my lucky basketball must be worth then? It must be worth like $75. Well, more like uh, $5. $5, you say, huh? Well, sold. 
And that's one item for the bin. Coach Rocco, I hope you have more boxes because we're going into business. Oh, that's the spirit, Jimmy. Well, just remember to sell things you don't use, not everything. All right? Sorry, Coach Rocco, but everything must go. Sell, sell, sell. You hear that, Ellie and Casey? You are totally going down. Hey, Coach Rocco, how much do you think we could get for my bed? The world? Wait, 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 is this all of the stuff that Jimmy's selling? Oh, he's selling his basketball hoop and his Jimmy 2 cutout? Woof, he is really taking this competition seriously. Don't be fooled by this typical Jimmy behavior, Casey. I mean, this is classic competitive Jimmy. Who in their right mind would give away their bed to win a challenge? <laughs> Let's focus on our mission. We're out here in the yard looking for useful things to sell. All right, let's see what we got here. Mm. Ooh, what do we have here? <laughs> Attention class, this is Coach Rocco. Please take all your favorite cleaning supplies and bring them straight to the pool. <laughs> I'm so funny. Hey, Ellie, what do you think? Yard sale pile? Wait, but that's Coach Rocco's most cherished item. I mean, what else would he use to yell at Jimmy with then? Mm. Guess you're right. For sale signs everywhere. Oh. Jimmy, what have you done to the kitchen? I can't find anything. I hope you have a good explanation for this. Well, of course I do. Don't you remember? It's the yard sale for charity. Everything must go. No, not everything must go. If you want to sell everything in your room, that's one thing, but not everything in the kitchen. What am I supposed to wash the dishes with? Well, why don't you clean the dishes with this? It looks like it could clean just about anything. I can't wash the dishes with that. That's a duster. Oh, well, if you don't need this, perfect. Another $3. Great, now I can't even dust anymore. I know, how about you dust with this instead? I can't dust with this, This you make pizzas with this. Hmm, you can't dust with this either? Huh, no matter, into the donation box you go. Thank you for your charity, Coach Rocco. I'll see you at the yard sale. Okay, I'm pleased to announce I have the results. Uh, Ellie, you first. Casey and I will be happy to report that we have gathered $147 worth of old possessions for the yard sale. <laughs> it would have been a little more, but Ellie couldn't quite convince me to get rid of my old collection of number two pencils. <laughs> I've been kind of collecting them since like the second grade, so maybe next year. <laughs> Good job, girls. That's $147 and going to a great cause. Jimmy, you're next. This year, the old Jim Rooney was able to raise $1,723 in old possessions, which uh, by my calculations is just a little bit more. Congratulations, Jimmy. But I had one question for you. Where are you gonna sleep now that you're gonna sell your mattress? <laughs> hey, Jimbo, I got a pretty comfy pool flow do you want. Sell it to you for five bucks, what do you say? <laughs> Um, that's a big no thank you, Casey. As for what I'm gonna sleep on tonight, hmm, well, I'll figure that out later. After I'm done celebrating my victory, the old Jim Rooney wins again. Wow, Jimmy, we're so jealous. Especially since the winner has to do all the packing for the yard sale. <laughs> Congrats, Jimmy. <laughs> Wait, you mean I have to pack up all this stuff by myself? Oh, don't worry about it, I'll help you. Now help me move this uh, basketball hoop here. Oh, wait, hold on a second. I actually was hoping to play a quick game of basketball, you know, to celebrate my victory. Oh, it's too late for that, Jimmy. You've already donated this basketball hoop and you donated this lucky basketball of yours. I must say I'm impressed by your generosity. Uh-oh, did I do that? 
Oh, well, uh, I may have donated these things, sure, but I was hoping this could be kind of a temporary donation. Or the kind of donation where, sure, yeah, I've donated it and I'm charitable and all, but I still get to use it whenever I want. <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy, no takesy-backsies. <laughs> oh, but wait, what if someone donates the basketball back to me? That's still charitable, right? <laughs>